Hey folks, it has been way too long, and I want to welcome you to the 47th Isometria devlog. In this devlog, I'm going to talk about plenty of new items that have been added to the game, as well as some new enemies, changes to their line of sight and wandering code, as well as a new shop, an NPC, and a few UI changes. There's also been plenty of under the hood changes that uh, improve the game's code base overall. And I won't go into too much detail there, but trust me, it's getting better every day. Anyway, let's get started. The first new item I'll talk about is the fish slapper. It's just a giant fish that you can slap things with. I mean, who doesn't want to slap things with a fish? Let's see it in action. It works pretty well. I like it. A bunch of new potions have also been added, specifically the Anger Potion, the Bastion Potion, the Pushback Potion, and the Zippy Potion. Each of these potions does something a little unique. The, the Anger Potion gives you bonus damage, the Bastion Potion gives you an armor bonus, the Pushback Potion, well, prevents you from being knocked back, it's pretty good. And Zippy Potion will grant you that speed buff to get you around to places you need to go. Players will now be able to find snowshoes, which will reduce the stickiness of the terrain they're currently walking on. Specifically with snow tiles or with mud tiles, these will help get the player to where they're going a little faster. Also, no need to slip on the ice anymore if you're wearing a pair of ice skates. These will help reduce the slipping and get you walking correct on the ice. No more slipping. Maybe you don't like swimming too much and it's kind of slowing you down. Equip some floaties, and you might just have a good time. Equipping flippers will also help you swim that much faster. Now you can zoom around in the water expert rate. But let's say you don't even want to go swimming at all. Let's get some water waders on. And boom, you can just walk right on the water. I've added some new throwables and explosives into the game, specifically snowballs, cocoa nades, which are little exploding coconut grenades, as well as fire bombs, ice bombs, and lightning bombs. The fire, lightning, and ice bombs each apply a debuff such as the burning debuff with fire bombs to set your enemies on fire. It also applies a little bit of a fire under their butt and they get a little bit of a speed boost, so watch out. Ice bombs do the exact opposite. They, they will chill the enemies and slow them down. And finally, the lightning bombs will apply an armor debuff, which will reduce the armor of anyone who's in the blast radius. Austin, the shop NPC, has been introduced into the game. He will sell you various beginner items as well as buy things from you. The sell value is shown in your inventory while the buy value is shown in his inventory. Coins will now be shown outside of the inventory in a coin area as opposed to taking up inventory space as well. Health bars are now shown above damaged units. Then the health bars will go between green and red as the unit is damaged more. Units that lose sight of you will now start wandering back towards their spawn point. And this will prevent anyone that's not aggroed to you from leaving their original spawn biome. So you'll get less of the less of the wrong creature types in the wrong biomes. As well, I've fixed a bug in the line of sight code such that they won't be able to temporarily see through walls. I've gone ahead and added some social media buttons to the main menu. Each of these buttons will launch a web browser with their appropriate link. Furthermore, in the display options, I've added the default display option such that you can tell Isometria which display you'd like it to open on. I've added some more variety to ghouls, specifically frost ghouls, sand ghouls, and armored ghouls. 
these ghouls will spawn in various biomes throughout the world and give a little bit more variety to fighting ghouls. I'll add some more and maybe polish them up in the future, but for now, there's just a little bit more variety in the ghouls. Other orbs I've added are melee crit orbs, ranged crit orbs, and magic crit orbs. These orbs will let you fine tune your character so that you can go for more crit damage over health pool or regen, and overall just give you more options. Well, that's it for this devlog, folks. Hope you've enjoyed the changes. I know it's been a while since my last devlog, and I hope to improve the consistency at which I get these things out. Besides these changes, there's been a lot of under-the-hood improvements to Isometria. Improvements to various systems, the way things are programmed, the way things work, the efficiency of such things. And I hope to improve it even more in the future. It just takes time getting all this done. So, bear with me as I get to the finish line here, but we'll be adding more in the coming weeks and months. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more.